how do you go about uh, attacking bye week? Give some guys rest, but also uh... yeah, we get a little bit of rest. But we've been practicing. Uh, it's a big game. Uh, it's late in the year, um, so a couple of guys that were beat up a little bit from the game haven't had as many reps in practice. But we've been practicing, um, and uh, we had a good pad practice yesterday. Had shoulder pads today. We're going shoulder pads again tomorrow, um, and uh, we'll practice again Friday. So they've been working hard and getting ready to, to hopefully uh, go play Utah well. With with everything that's at stake in this game, does it start to get a little bit of a playoff type of feel in, in that regard? Um, if you win, you advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you, you win, you get to keep playing. That's uh, the fun part of it. So hopefully, uh, our guys understand that and, and, and want to do that. So it seems like the way we've practiced the last couple of days, they do. Do you use this week to give uh, younger guys some reps that they wouldn't normally get? No, in the season? we're doing the same thing we've always done. We we practice the younger guys after practice on every Tuesday and Thursday. So we just do the exact same thing. Is that different than what you've done in bye weeks in the past? Uh, no, not really. Um, we've all, we've started this year practicing the young guys every Tuesday and Thursday. I was able to do that in our practice schedule. So um, we might have done a little bit more with them in the past earlier in the year, um, but we've been practicing with them every Tuesday and Thursday after you know time after practice. So it's gone well. So we just kept that same kind of format because they don't have class till twelve thirty on Thursdays. They have a little bit more time. What have you been kind of doing to clean up the special teams mistakes? I know that's kind of been a theme the past two weeks. Um, yeah, they, you know, we had the, the um, punt block against Arizona State, and then um, it really the it was a, a mess up with our um, kicker and holder on the uh, blocks. So uh, we got that. We fixed that in the game. We got it corrected. We hadn't had a problem ever until that moment. <laughs> so uh, we got that fixed. As you look back over this season and evaluate where Steven started and where he is now. Are you happy with the development that he's made? Yeah, Steven's made some um, good strides and uh, done some really good things. And, you know, you always wanted to keep improving, but I think he has improved as the season's gone along. What are the things you look for in a guy who's really making his first full year as a starter? Um, to, to keep competing, keep um, keep grinding, keep working at it every day. Don't take, you can't take any time off during the weeks. And I've seen him pick that up. Um, as far as film study and other stuff like that as the year's even gone on, which I think is important to see. For him in the film room, what's he like? I know guys, there's some different guys. Some guys can't watch enough film stuff, I think, was one of those guys. So what's Steven like in the film room? No, he's, he studies it hard, and uh, um, he's starting to learn more and more about what to look for, more and more tips. And then the thing is, is not that he didn't know what to do, is carrying it over to the game, it, translating that to the game, and he's starting to do that better and better. You've mentioned a few times uh, tackling has been an issue. Uh -huh. Is that something that uh, you feel is like a technique thing? or We've been working technique hard on it. Um, I think, uh, uh, you know, some of the guys out there, sometimes we were tackling, sometimes some of those guys too high in situations where you got to get them low because they'll just bounce off of you. Um, you know, and then sometimes running backs make good moves, <laughs> you know, and you got to corral to it um, and get more guys to the ball. So that's that was uh, – Definitely at the end of the Arizona State game, we didn't tackle very well. Uh, and their running backs ran harder than we tackled. It's basically what happened at the end of that game. Do you see guys uh, too often like going for the big hit and not really using their arms? Kind of? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, they got to wrap up. I mean, we, we work on wrapping up. But you, you can't butt down guys anymore. You know, the, the, the backs are too big, they're too powerful. Um, you have to wrap up, and uh, we got to make sure we're doing that. We, we rep it every single day. We are repping it hard today. And, uh, every day that we're in pa every day that we're in shoulder pads, we wrap it, um, and so we work on that hard. Having that extra week to prepare for Utah, could you ever watch too much film as a staff, or do you always pick up things? I don't think you can ever watch too much film. Now you can try to do too much after you've watched too much film. That's the that's the fine line there. But you want to get all the fine little details of the way different things happen to help you, just like they would. Um, and uh, so uh, we'll look at it, keep looking at it, and watch their game this weekend. You know, they have, we only have 10 games on them. We need to see the 11th game. And, uh, and then, of course, they'll change the stuff during the game against things that people that have hurt us. So we go back and watch things that have hurt us and say, okay, they might try that on us. So you're, all, you're doing all that all the time. you got a little bit more time in an off week, but we do that every week anyway. You talked about Stephen watching film and, and correcting mistakes. Is that, the, is that a maturation process of, of a kid that watches, makes – Learns from mistakes and, and then moves forward rather than moping about it. Yeah, it is a maturation process, and um, you know it's hard with anybody when you make mistakes and try to go watch it and correct yourself on it in anything in life, and uh, that is a maturation process, and it's a, and he, he's doing that.
And, and is that all, all your young guys, is that what they have to learn? Yeah, they do have to learn. They have to understand that when you're coaching them and correcting them, you're not mad at them and you're not um, being personal. You're just saying what they have to do to be successful. And that's usually a, a little bit of a process. Past few weeks, it seems like the run defense has gotten worn down a little bit as the game's gone uh -huh. on. How much have you kind of preached forward the importance of endurance and finishing the game? Yeah, we uh, we have. Um, you know, we started playing Nate Lamon a little bit more um, to help us. Um, felt like we were getting maybe a little bit worn down at linebacker in there. Um, tried to play a few more guys up front. Um, and uh, with our secondary situation, the way it's been, beat up a little bit. We haven't been able to rotate there as much, but you don't rotate as much in the secondary usually. But you do at linebackers and the down linemen, um, and uh, uh, we've been trying to do that a little bit more. And you're right; that's something we need to make sure that we're staying fresher um, at the end there.